All right, this is one of the more classic cost curve problems that you'll face. Basically, you'll be given a table with a bunch of fixed variable, total, and marginal values and need to fill in the blanks. Here's what you need to know to be able to fill in each of these columns. And before we get started here, if you are screwed for your microeconomics class, go check out my microeconomics cram kit. I've got concept breakdowns for the core 95 concepts in this class that just step-by-step -step walk you through everything you need to know. And it's free access to you available whenever you need it. All right, so let's start here with row one, first column fixed cost. How can we know what to put here in this empty spot? Well, there's two ways we can calculate this. One, total cost is eight and variable cost is three, so eight minus three is five. We also could have just looked at the rest of the values in this first column here, because remember, fixed costs stay the same, no matter how many units we're outputting. All right, next row here, we're needing to find variable cost. Very similar strategy as before. Our total cost is 12, our fixed cost is five, 12 minus five is seven. Remember, fixed cost plus variable cost equals total cost. All right, next up to your third row, we're needing to calculate total cost here and marginal cost. Well, for total cost, I'm just going to add together fixed and variable. So I'm going to get 20 right here. But marginal cost, how can we solve for that? Well, remember, marginal cost is the additional cost of the next unit. And to find that, we need to know how our total cost changed from the previous unit to the current unit. In other words, what's the difference between our total cost of 20 right here and our total cost of 12 at the previous unit? Well, that's eight. So our marginal cost of this third unit right here is eight bucks. All right, lastly here, this last row, we only have total cost. How can we solve for all these values here? Well, I'm gonna start with the lowest hanging fruit right here. Our fixed cost I know is gonna be five. And then from there, I'm gonna say, okay, well, 30 minus five, that's gonna be 25. And then to finish this off, your marginal cost, remember, that's all about the change in total cost here. So I'm gonna do 30 minus 20 equals 10. I'm gonna do another video like this one, except the table's gonna have average cost values. So that works a little bit different, but the same principles still apply. So make sure to stay tuned for that and comment if you have any more questions about microeconomics that you'd like me to answer.